This is a story of a unique initiative in India. This story starts on the setting of a severe crisis, the crisis of leadership. Of all the crises that humanity is facing, the gravest is the leadership crisis. From politics to academics, culture to literature, and social service to sports, people are looking for leaders. This nation requires is effective leadership, which is sadly wanting. Now, leadership like God is not so embu. It's not self-born. It has to be created. It has to be trained. Now, who trains them? And how do you train them? This leadership crisis was envisioned by many, but Pandit Dindayal Upadhyay also conceived an instrument to meet this crisis. In 1960s, Dindayal Upadhyay mooted the idea of an academy for elected representatives and socio-political activists. It was Ram Bhau Malgi, one of his followers and India's most illustrious member of parliament, who made a resolve to give a concrete shape to the concept propounded by Dindayal Upadhyay. Ram Bhau Malgi met his untimely death and after him initially it was Uttam Rao Patil and later Pramod Mahajan who passionately worked for this concept and then came into existence a unique institutional initiative in the form of Ram Bhau Mahalgi Prabodhini. For 16 long years with all dexterity at his command Pramod Mahajan greatly contributed in the institutional development of Prabodhini. We don't have any institution which trains politicians. We in Rambo Margi Prabodhini think if anybody needs training in this country, politicians are the first amongst all of them. Established in 1982, Rambo Mahalgi Prabodhini, a unique training academy is only of its type in the entire South Asia has a clear objective empowering elected representatives as well as all kinds of voluntary activists for the enrichment of public life is the primary goal of Prabodhini. It is serving the cause of democracy by helping those who are electable beyond doubt to be capable of serving the electorate effectively. We are trying to convert those who are electable into able kind of leaders. We believe that Prabodhini is uh, a center, it's a hub, it's a laboratory where all kinds of leadership development experiments can take place which will try and meet the challenges, the, all the emerging challenges in democratic governance. To achieve this goal, Prabodhini conducts capacity building programs, promotes field studies and research and provides forum for exchange of ideas, debates and discussions. Since its inception in 1982, Prabodhini has come a long way. On an average, Prabodhini conducts over 20 training programs in a typical year and close to 2,500 participants take part in them. From ministers to Gram Panchayat members, Prabodhini offers training practically for all who make it to the public office. Gram Panchayat ke andar jane ke baad, pakshabed bahar rakhna chahiye. गांव के लिए गांव की भलाई के लिए हम यहां इकट्ठा होने आए इसके लिए हम जनता ने हमें निर्वाचित किया है यह मैंने ट्रेनिंग के बाद सीखा थ्रू इट सेंटर फॉर इंस्टीट्यूशन बिल्डिंग एंड लीडरशिप स्टडीज प्रबोधिनी आल्सो ट्राइज टू बिल्ड द कैपेसिटीज ऑफ दोस हु कंडक्ट स्कूल्स कॉलेजेस एंड यूनिवर्सिटीज एन इंडिपेंडेंट सेल वर्किंग अंडर प्रबोधिनी लुक्स इनटू द कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग नीड्स ऑफ पर्संस in cooperative banking Prabodhini mein vibhinn prakar ke karyakram hote hain kaun sa bhi karyakram ho hamare liye wo naya karyakram hai aisa hi hum sochte hain har karyakram ek creative kaisa ho vishayon ke bare mein vaktaon ke chayan ke bare mein vishay rakhne ki paddhati mein ye kaisa aur zyada se zyada usme navinya purna tak kaise aave iska prayas hum karte hain at Prabodhini, research is conducted mainly through field studies, surveys and commissioned research projects. 
Prabodhini offers Vastav Darshan fellowships every year to young social activists and budding journalists. Issues like children dying of malnutrition in Maharashtra's Meelghat region or the problem of beer bar girls in Mumbai have been effectively handled through short-term field studies completed by young activists or journalists. Besides, in on-the-spot study projects, experts and activists put their heads together, apply their minds and come out with a dispassionate analysis of the issue. The outcome in the form of a report helps understand the issue and then form an opinion. From impact of quota for women to Naxalite challenge in Chhattisgarh, Prabodhini has covered a wide variety of issues. Socio-economic surveys mainly dealing with the developmental issues are professionally taken up through Prabodhini's Center for Development Planning and Research operating mainly from Pune. An unimpeachable track record of objective analysis, a strict adherence to the academic discipline and a thoroughly professional approach towards the assignments are some of the main characteristics of this unit. The Prabodhini trains political and social activists but the training here is essentially the classical definition of education that is learning by yourself. The Prabodhini does something with on-the-spot studies and these on-the-spot studies are studies in depth and are the intellectual response of an activist to the challenges on the ground. Among the various dimensions of the activities of Prabodhini is the Center for Reference, Information and Documentation. This center functions as a fast, reliable and economic system of collecting, sorting and dissemination of relevant information on a daily basis. Research papers, official documents, thematic notes and dossiers and seminar reports are occasionally published for the benefit of its subscribers thus bridging the gap between current occurrences with future prospects.